kitchen hardware for the cabinets. Uh, oh my gosh, guys, I'm honestly on cloud nine right now being able to film for the channel again. I have a little bit of a chatty intro because I do have quite a bit of things I want to tell you guys about, update you on. I actually haven't picked up my vlog camera or filming camera for this channel in probably about three weeks because I've been working on a very, very special project. That was mouthful. And I'm sure some of you guys know what that project is. Now, I actually got reached out to from YouTube this year to work on a really exciting project. It could be my dream project, whatever I wanted to share on my channel. And I mentioned that I really wanted to do a makeover for one of my subscribers. You know, you guys are what has made Lone Fox what it is today. And I really wanted to give back to one of you a full home makeover. And that is a project I had been working on for the past 10 days. My dad actually came down to Los Angeles. We worked on the project together along with one of my friends. There was a video crew and it was just such a fulfilling project my most fulfilling project for sure like I absolutely do not know how we got this house done in such a short amount of time because guys the content that is coming for you there are three bedrooms two bathrooms a kitchen living room breakfast nook dining room I'm sure I'm missing something else nursery there's a lot happening in this home makeover and it is coming to the channel extremely shortly believe it or not probably in a week or so the first episode is going to be launching and I'm just so excited that I was able to work on this project it was a lot of work and that's why I haven't been filming too much for the channel but I am back do not worry because we have so much to work on in my house. I haven't even stepped foot in the house in about two weeks or so, so when I got here this morning, there were a bunch of packages waiting for me. I saw that I think we got all of the hardware for the kitchen, which I just could not be more excited about. I think we might work on that today. Also, I think we got the gold rod, the brass rod for back here, because if you guys remember, they actually ended up shipping the shorter one. So I think I actually got the longer one in the mail as well. This is what it's looking like for anyone that forgot. We have the brown cabinets. Little bit of a controversial uh, color, but you know what? I'm obsessed, so I'm very excited about it. I do just have one more quick announcement that I wanted to share with you guys, and that is the Lone Fox Holiday Shop is live over on LoneFox.com. So simultaneously, while I was working on this house makeover, I also ended up photographing all the products and listing them all over on the sites, literally when I got home at night from working on the projects, because I just wanted to make sure that the holiday product was shoppable for you guys early, so you can start preparing preparing your holiday decor um, and it's all live over on the site and this year we have so much really cute holiday decor ornaments um, little trinkets there's like trees it's always just a fun little browse so definitely click the link at the top of the description box below and see if you can find any holiday goodies for your home this year so we have items from rejuvenation which if you guys have heard of rejuvenation it's actually like a pottery barn West Elm company and they do a lot of metal items but it is on the higher price point for sure I will say that so it's a splurge your item for your kitchen but these will last a lifetime they are incredible incredible quality and I really wanted unlacquered brass to match you know my kitchen faucet which is right here I wanted the metals to match and unlacquered brass in general is just a little bit more of an expensive metal these are the four inch drawer poles oh my gosh oh wow look at this bin pole oh my gosh it's beautiful this is the Mission bin pole. So all of the hardware that I got from this kitchen is from the Mission collection, which kind of is fitting because I feel like my home's a Spanish style house and Mission collection is seen Spanish style. Um, so that's the bin pole. And then this is the four inch drawer pole. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy and like nice. Wow, that is a quality hardware piece. It's giving open and close. These are the four inch poles, but I also got some eight inch ones for our taller cabinets over here. And this is our eight inch pole, which looks essentially double the size of a four inch pole. And it looks so nice. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start unpackaging some of this and we can start installing the hardware. If you've never heard of unlacquered brass before, it's actually a reactive metal, meaning that every time you touch it, it gets more tarnished. So as you can see, like this little handle here, this is also um, unlacquered brass and it started extremely shiny like this, but as you touch it and utilize it more, it just kind of gets this patina to it that really gives it a more worn in look, which is what I love about this brass color. You can always bring it back to the shiny look if you go and clean it. However, I just love the aged quality 
quality. In order to install these handles, what I'm thinking of actually doing, because we already have one hole from the previous knob, is I'm just gonna screw that in and then just trace around the square with a pencil on top of some tape because the tape's actually the exact width of this little area here. And then I'll be able to just find the exact center of the square and then drill my hole. I feel like that sounds easiest, honestly, a bit easier than creating a template. a piece of tape on this lower section just because it's the exact width of this little area that I'm applying the handle on and I know it's a little hard to see but I centered this on the tape where it looks nice and straight and then I traced around the square found the center and that's where we're gonna drill our hole to attach the handle hopefully it gave us the right placement it's perfect it is perfect placement so screw these in oh my gosh our first handle is on it's so pretty i love the chunkiness of it it feels so great in your hand too All right, I love the cabinet hardware. It looks incredible. First off, I do wanna say, it is a little shiny at the moment, but with unlockered brass, you do have to give it some time to kind of patina, adapt to its surroundings, and I'm sure once we actually move in, they're gonna get worn a little bit more because they are quite bright at the moment, but look how beautiful those handles look on there. And then you can open them. Oh, this is so exciting. The kitchen's coming together. I just made it over to the house this morning. Look how incredible the cabinets look with the hardware. I am in love. I ended up wrapping them up last night, so it was kind of dark, and they look incredible. I'm so excited to see all of them. Oh, I still have to fill the hole here, but just look at the hardware. It is so pretty. I'm going to link the exact ones I used below for you guys if you are curious. And today we have something pretty fun in store. My friend Justin is actually coming over today and he's actually a face you guys might see on the channel a little bit more here and there because he's actually going to be helping out with some projects every now and then. We're essentially the same person which is really great and he's coming over today because we're going to start working on the upper walls. I actually want to head to Miotid this morning and get the product that I want to use on the uppers which I believe is going to be this kind of like sandy finish. It's actually a plaster product that we're going to be applying with a trowel. So once it gets here, we're gonna head to Miotid and see what the products look like. Look what arrived this morning. I am so excited. My parents are actually gonna come and visit and they're gonna be staying at the new house before me. And so I wanted to set them up a mattress or just like, you know, a bed space for them to be able to sleep in. And I ordered a Helix mattress. So let's bring this in, unpackage it and put it in the space. I am so excited to have a guest room for my parents to be able to come whenever they would like to. So of course I wanna set this up for them and also the dogs, of course. So I got them a king size mattress. They actually went through the Helix sleep quiz first, which which I always recommend. If you're looking for a new mattress, I love how Helix offers this because it actually pairs you up with a mattress for your personal body type and your sleeping preferences, and it's shipped directly to your door in a box. So this is my first time actually ordering a king mattress from Helix. I've always just happened to get a queen for every project I've worked on, and it is crazy how they fit a king mattress like this in such a small box shipped directly to your door. And setting it up is a breeze. You could easily do this with one person. All you have to do is just unroll the mattress, get the plastic, 
plastic off of it and it starts to inflate almost immediately like you can literally hear it. And after letting that puff up for about 24 hours, you have a super premium quality mattress. And you guys know that I absolutely love my Helix mattress. I've had mine on my bed for over two years now. Couldn't imagine even getting a new one, have no intention of it. And this one is for my parents. It actually ended up being the same exact mattress that I have on my bed. So I already know that if I wanna go sleep in this bed, I definitely will be doing so. And not only have I got these in, you know, my room, I also did one in my friend Kelsey's place. I did one in my aunt's place for my grandpa. We've used Helix mattresses every everywhere. And let's just say, you know, you didn't love it. There's a hundred day sleep trial. And if it's just not for you, they'll actually come back and pick it up without you having to put it back in the box. So make sure to check out helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. So these right here are the samples that I ordered. I ended up getting four uh, tiles per swatch just to get a variation of the colors. And these are actually tumbled travertine. Now I really wanted flooring that looked aged in here because I feel like the cabinetry kind of looks newer. The marble looks new as well. There's a lot of new elements in here. I am of course adding, you know, the antique lighting, but I wanted another element of something that looked older or just more organic. Because getting that look in floor tile typically comes with a higher price point. You have to get authentic antique tile or you have to find something that's already distressed. These were actually a pretty good deal on clay tile. I have yet to order them. I wanted to see the colors and I don't know if I want to do a brick or if I want to do the square and then maybe stagger them a little bit and kind of create this like cobblestone look. I think that that could be so pretty and I do love the color tone in here. I don't think I can go wrong with either or. And which one would you guys select if you had to select one of these? Really Look how beautiful, though. guys, this terracotta one. This one's super pretty, too. So Brie actually put out some samples for me that she thought I would like for the kitchen based off of the photos I sent. And these are some color options, some neutrals. And I did also bring along my swatches from the house. I have like kind of a similar marble swatch and paint. These are the tile swatches for the floor here. I brought two of them. And then the marble, this isn't the exact marble, but it's very similar. And then we have the paint color here. And this is kind of the shade that I'm thinking might look nice. All right, guys, I'm thinking this is the color. It's just a really light, and I also just kind of put it up against white so you can see. Just a really kind of creamy, darker white neutral tone. We are back, and Justin is starting to tape off the upper wall. Oh my gosh, you have to say hi, Justin, and introduce yourself to the hi. channel. My name is Justin. <laughs> And you're wearing a custom diptyque inspired sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Don't look too close because it's my parents' address. <laughs> <laughs> and at Mioted, you guys actually saw me. Let me pull this up. I just took this little flat lay. Look how cute for the Instagram. Um, and I wanted to just kind of put all of the elements for the space together because I also have the floor tile option. This is what I'm doing on the wall. Oh, we can actually see it against the marble. Ooh, that's good. So this right here is essentially what's gonna be on all of the walls going up. It looks a little green toned on camera. I think it's because of the, the tape kind of bouncing off, but it's so pretty. It's really soft and subtle and you can kind of get more of an idea how it blends in with our marble in this area. It has texture and I think once we get it on the wall, it might also have a little bit of movement to it. But this product here is the Tanachi Firenze from Mioted. This is applied with a trowel and so it's gonna be be a little bit of a learning curve, but we're gonna start by priming it with the quartz primer, which is gonna go over all of the walls. And then I got a bucket of the product just right over here. This is a large bucket. And I believe this was about, it was like $200 for the bucket, but this should cover a good amount of the kitchen. So one of the first steps I'm going to do in here is actually use some of this joint compound and it comes with a little spatula, which is nice and actually fill in a lot of this uneven texture up here. That way it matches a lot of the other walls. I had the drywall guys actually drywall off these walls when I removed the tile. The tile didn't damage the wall up here. So I actually just left it as is to save a bit of money. And then we are going to just kind of smooth this out, give it a nice even coat. So it looks like these, and then we can go in and prime everything.
There really was no method to applying this on the wall. I just wanted to fill in any uneven texture and then I got a larger metal trowel just to make sure it was nice and smooth. After the fact, I'm going in and I'm gonna be sanding between layers. And we also picked up a joint compound meant for remodels, which eliminates the amount of dust and debris that it creates. So hopefully that won't make it too messy. I'm back at the flea market. I told myself I wasn't gonna go for a little bit and here I am. <laughs> um, my friend actually just signed on an apartment and he was like, will you come with me? Like I need to find some items. And I was like, you know what, I will. And I figured I'd vlog for you guys as well. So if I find anything, I will share it with you. So let's go shopping. Look at how pretty this toilet paper holder is. Little French vibe. So not for my place, but maybe for like a future makeover. Lone Ox, Lone Oak Drive. I, I thought it said Lone Fox for a second. <laughs> Look at how pretty this iron coffee table base is. I love that. This. So I think this is my laundry hamper. Laundry hamper? My laundry hamper. Okay. Yeah. Laundry hamper. okay. Yeah. Isn't that cute? I mean, you can't fit much laundry in there. Oh, I don't. I wash. But you probably wash it. Yeah. I see. I would need a large one. <laughs> wow. Look at this coffee table, you guys. With like burlwood checkered on the top, and it's on casters too. It's sadly sold, but whoever got this, really cool piece. This is the most intricate gold frame I think I've ever seen. It's like double layered. I this like one's cute though, because the legs are kind of like in the center. Yeah, I like the black. I do too. Should I go over there? I'll come meet you. Okay, yeah, I see. I'm probably like uh, approximately 97 feet away from it. You said my hair looks good. L yeah, it does. Looks like a wig. <laughs> Great, genes for hair. Great genetics of hair. Look at this hair. It's giving Pantene. <laughs> I met McKenna's mom. Hi. And of course, McKenna. Hi. And her hair looks so pretty. Look at her hair. Do a little turn. Oh. That is... I know, because I gave myself curtain bangs. It looks so good. It gave it a little refresh. Yeah, we love putting home decor everywhere. Curtain bangs. <laughs> funny that we... It's actually not funny that we run into each other at flea markets. We, run we didn't each even know each other time. were here. No, actually a, one of you guys came up to me and said, I just saw McKenna. I said, McKenna's here. Then I called McKenna, then found McKenna. <laughs> and she had the same other. thing that happened, saying that I was uh, here. Yeah, and vice versa. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if he's here because he's he's been doing so much amazing things with makeovers and stuff. I'm doing a little shop at Romeo's booth. Got some really cute items, look. I love this yellow cardigan here. <gasps> this is so pretty. It has been a couple days since I last checked in with you guys. I think lastly I went to the flea market and I met McKenna's mom there and McKenna, which was so random. I did not know she was in LA. We always bump into each other and I'm thinking she's gonna be in Texas and she's just randomly in LA, which is, it's honestly really, really fun. And I was expecting to get, you know, a couple items. It was a quick impromptu trip, but I found Nothing. I didn't buy one item, so I mean, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that. I've been going off at the antique shops lately, uh, but besides that, I wanted to share with you guys that we actually got up the primer coat on the walls, and it is just so nice seeing this kitchen with more of an even coat of color, because before there was kind of like the drywall patches, the swatch on the wall right here above the marble is the wall treatment that we're doing. So this is the exact color that I got, the exact finish. And as you can see, it just has a sandy finish. Like if I go like this, can you kind of hear that? Has like a sandy, just a very smooth, but also textural element to it. And I think it's just going to add the perfect amount of visual interest to these walls. And also depending on how you trowel it on, you can give it a little bit of movement, kind of give it the look of lime wash. So I'm gonna play around with that. And we're gonna start that on the walls in the next video. I actually wanted to start the walls yesterday, but they recommend if you get a bucket to try to use as much of it as you can at once, because if you don't seal it properly, the product can kind of start drying out. So I wanted to make sure I 
I was able to have enough time to get at least one coat on everything. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is that we got our metal rod. We got the exact size. Of course, there are end caps that are going to be going on here. So this is going to be mounted. I don't know if I'm able to mount this, but when they come and install the marble in those um, uppers over there, I will have them mount this as well. The kitchen's coming along great, and guys, I also am going to be ordering the tile. So leave a comment below. Do you think I should do the brick tile or the square tile? Um, I'm gonna actually place that order probably tomorrow after I see some of the comments It's currently Thursday morning when I'm filming this right before this video is going up So I will check those comments order the tile and we can start tiling the kitchen because that's really the last step is Tiling the kitchen and then just getting the wall treatment up here Swapping out the lights and then we can decorate which is so exciting I can't believe one space in this house is almost done and it's looking so nice So I will catch you guys in the next one